Hi there, my name is Dave Glover and this is a very quick overview of using the Social Viewer template for building Windows Phone 7 applications. The Social Viewer template is essentially an easy way of building applications which aggregate data from RSS, Atom, Twitter and Facebook. It's also extensible. Um, at the very least, you need to have Visual Studio 2010 Express on your, on your desktop. You can download that for free of charge from create.msdn.com. You also need to download the application template and the how-to guide. You'll find that at socialviewer.coplex.com. Now, once you've installed Visual Studio and downloaded the social template, you need to install the template into the template directory. Go across to your personal folders, My Documents, down to Visual Studio, go to your templates and go to Project Templates, and you'll see I've already copied that, uh, the social viewer template into that directory. You need to right mouse click on it, select Properties, and make sure you unblock that zip file. The next thing I'm going to do is create a project. I'm going to create this project with the Visual Studio 2010 Express for Phone Edition. Create a new project. Make sure Visual C, Visual C Sharp is selected. You'll see that the social viewer is listed up the top there. Create a new project. In this case, in this case I'm going to call it Tech News 1. Uh, recommendation is you don't have any spaces in the file name. Create the project. The first thing you need to go and do is rebuild uh, the project. So right mouse click on the project and select option to rebuild. Once rebuild is completed, you then need to go and define the data sources and how that data will be laid out for the end user. You do that in the configuration.xaml file. I'll just open that up. In the configuration.xaml file, you'll find there's a section up here called sources. And it's there where you're going to find the RSS and Twitter, Facebook, Atom data uh, sources, etc. So what I'm going to define here is a new uh, social reader source. I'm going to give it a name. In this case, I'm going to call it Engadget. I'm going to define the source. In this case, it's going to be RSS, but it could be Atom, it could be Twitter, it could be Facebook, and then the ID for that source. In this case here, it's going to be uh, the Engadget RSS feed. Close that off. I'm also going to define a couple of other data sources which I've got defined up here. Um, you'll see that I've got data sources defined for OS News, which is RSS, uh, Tech Gadget, so uh, Tech Crunch for Facebook, and you'll see I've got Engadget Tweets from Twitter and Tech Crunch from Twitter as well. So that's how I define the data source of the application. The next thing I need to go and define is how those data sources will be aggregated and displayed to the end user. You do that inside the list section of the configuration file. I'm just going to get rid of the samples that we've already got there and show you how easy it is to go and create a list view. So in this case here, I'm going to define a list, read a list. I'm going to give it a name. In this case, I'm just going to call it Engadget. Close that off. And then I'm going to define a filter. And the filter is going to be a source name. The name of this, I'll just close that off in case I forget. The name will be one of these data sources. In this case, it's the Engadget one. So easiest to just go and mark it there and copy it and paste it into the filter source name. And that's pretty much all you need to go and do. If I now go and select the emulator, I can run the application up into the emulator. So Control F5 to go and build the project. That'll launch the emulator and install the application to the emulator and you can see how the application works. So you can see up here now I've got Engadget and those are all the feeds coming from Engadget. I can obviously open that up and there I'll have the Engadget uh, feed I can traverse across the news items, etc. So that's how you define one list. Typically you'd have more than one list defined. So I'm just going to get rid of this one that I've just created and just copy in some additional list views. The way to build these is defined in the uh, how-to guide. Control F5 to run the project again. And that'll load it up into the emulator. And you'll see now I've got data sources coming from Engadget, from OS News, from TechCrunch. You'll see that TechCrunch is an aggregate of RSS and Facebook, and from TechTweets. And TechTweets is an aggregate of Twitter from Engadget and from TechCrunch. The next thing I want to do is enable this application to go and interact with the likes of Twitter and Facebook. I need to go and register my application with both the Twitter and Facebook sites. You'll see more information on how to do that in the how-to guide. Once I've done that, I need to copy in my keys into my configuration section inside the configuration XAML file. I'm going to re rerun the application into the emulator. 
you'll see that when I go and open up an item, that on the menu, I now have the ability to go and share an item onto Facebook or to go and tweet that item into Twitter. So again, really easy. So basically, we detect if you've registered the application, the keys are there, then we'll expose those menu items. So really easy in terms of going and building an application, exposing it onto those social networks. There's way more information in the how-to guide and uh, have fun building applications for Windows Phone 7. Thank you very much.